Right, this is a digital synchronizer for my Marconi, well, an old Marconi signal generator. And uh, I'm going to sell it along with the actual generator itself, which is here. Here, like this. And uh, they link together. And I just noticed that the frequency calibration is off quite a bit. The adjustment on the back couldn't actually compensate, so I thought I'd have a look. I've already taken the top off, obviously. It has these covers which protect the front when you're not using it. And um, I thought I'd show you this. I've repaired this unit many years ago, and I actually found that these two ICs had blown. or well, this one IC here had blown, one of them. Could have been both. Could have been both ICs, actually. And... Um, Reason being, the crystal oscillator, or well, the avionized oscillator, is right there. So the heat coming up from it has cooked those two chips. So I replaced those some time ago, and it's worked perfectly ever since. But um, right now the frequency is off. I can't adjust it. I put I put this pot on the outside um, years ago as well, also, so I could adjust the frequency, um, fine tune it. It's a 25 turn pot because the original internal pot was a bit. Bit dirty and uh, a bit dodgy, didn't work very well, and um, it tended to jump off, jump around a little bit. So I actually just took that pot out for memory. After <laughs> I'll find out in a minute, I'll open it out. But um, so I'll just sort of show that those parts I've replaced and this modification I did on here uh, just to improve it. But right now, it's fully turned clockwise and it's not tuned frequency, it's still not quite there. It's about a K off, so I need to. Uh, open it up a little bit and find out why it's not tuning far enough so this just folds up like so and there's the pot adjustment on there somewhere there we go it's down there so I have to flip it over so you can see where the pot used to be just there and I just ran the wire straight to that position but um, I can't actually get it tuned onto frequency. Now there is an adjustment on the end here, which I can tweak. I'll have to open it up and give that an adjustment, because probably that's what's wrong with it. It's just gone out of balance a bit too far. So I just have to adjust the oven itself, looks of it. So there's a little plug here, take out. The tricky thing with this is I can't do it when it's all connected up. So I've got to just sort of adjust it a little bit and um, go from there. So I'm just going to try, I'm going to give that a turn. Let's go turn anti-clockwise. Let's do one turn anti-clockwise because that'll be quite a bit. So let's go. Okay, it's one turn anti-clockwise. All right. I won't put this seal back in again just yet. Uh, yeah, be right. Okay. Let's just rest this on top. It's got these connections out there on the back. Just here, you see. So I just need to try and get the rest of the line up. Same time. It's probably not very good for the car. Stressed. Anyway, there we go. Get that on there. Get this synchronizer cable on there. My sweep cable. Power supply. This way up. And let's make sure I'm not actually touching anything that shouldn't be touched. I think that's okay. Put that in. Turn them both back on. And hook up to my things account.
and see what we get. Okay, we're now getting a frequency. Right. And that's fully clockwise, so I'm turning it down a bit. Okay, that's now too high. Instead of too low. It's still warming up and drifting down though, but I think I'm not going to get there, so. So I have to go back half a turn blocks of it. I've only had it off for a couple of minutes, so it should still be pretty warm anyway. Unplug this. Still too high. All right, there you go. It's now reading five megahertz or thereabouts. Increase that timing slightly. Get some more resolution on it. Tweak this on the back a little bit. So it's still settling down a little bit, still a bit warm. close there isn't it but that just on the back there is now at least within its operating range so it can be um, tweaked to get it bang on once it's all warmed up the temperature which before it's just a long way up we couldn't get there at all so if I turn it all the way up what do we get then there you go that's what we go up to that's much in compensate by half a k So this is actually measuring the output of the generator itself. Um, I could connect into the one megahertz standard reference on the back, um, which is easier for just than the oscillator, which is what I actually did when I paused the camera, hooked into that instead. So I'll just get that oscillator right. But this output here is obviously some multiple of that, so it's far more accurate to see what this is doing. And uh, anyway, it's working okay. So I've verified that the uh, levels are okay on the spectrum analyzer across the whole range. That's doing anything it should be doing. I've now done that calibration of frequency, so that's now right. So I put them back together and I'll chuck them up for sale. Well, I've got them back together again. So let's power them up. Now this unit here is a piece by itself. Um, this is the TF2015. 
and that in itself is this is the frequency generator this digital synchronizer is an option which you can add on to it and it allows it to actually synchronize the frequencies and this is basically a POL and it controls this and um, once you've got this on there it's much more stable because this has got the ovenized oscillator in it and stuff like that so um, without that it tends to gradually drift and you're always chasing it it takes a long time to warm up without that so I actually um, bought that by itself originally and then later on I managed to track down one of these and I did that on and that made my life a lot easier so I used to use this as my main RF signal generator for my CB work but uh, I don't use that now um, and I've had it on a shelf for a while as a, as a spare in case my other Marconi dies um, but now I've got the Fluke the one I repaired recently um, I don't need this one as a spare anymore and although it's nice and compact at least compared to the Fluke anyway um, it doesn't have as much versatility as the Fluke and its accuracy is good I've actually done it on my spectrum analyzer there and all these levels are correct so it's still the actual output levels are, are bang on they're still accurate and um, the frequencies now have adjusted that oscillator um, are good too I'm just going to hook this in here so basically you tune this thing by setting which band you want first so right now I'm set to 500 megahertz and you've got this coarse tuning here it's also fine tune which is like a trimmer and you've got this other fine tune here which is just a dial um, and if you look on the synchronizer you can see a level just down here hopefully you can see that needle and you're supposed to tune it to it's in the middle of the of the meter so it lines up it gives you um, proper control that's basically a relative um, voltage output so it tells you what the output voltage is relative to um, the frequency so um, if that if it goes out of lock I can turn it you can actually you can turn it off um, if it goes out of lock so if you go by go out by too much then it's not being controlled anymore right, so this is basically a POL for this really a simpler way of thinking of it but let's say it's 15 uh, 500 megahertz output right now and put it on there and yeah that's okay so uh, let's go down to uh, let's do 20 megahertz Change range from this and so we're out of lock right now so if you this a tweak around and it's 20 megahertz that's fine so uh, it's slightly out of calibration for this scale but um, not by much really I wouldn't worry about that too much myself because uh, this is what sets it, this is digital down here uh, let's go 10 megahertz this last little go there you go, 10 megahertz that's what you find so it's all working alright just a little bit of fiddling around getting it set but uh, it's not as quite as straightforward as the other Marconi you just hit a couple of buttons and you're done but uh, it works fine that's been on 26.5 megahertz so I mean, you can do um, 100 hertz steps small steps it can do so um, yeah all good still works I'm not quite sure I'll sell that for yet um, I think I paid about 600 for it originally was it 400 for each maybe 400 for each part 